to all today we are going to discuss the differences between the binary fission and the multiple fission the very first thing to study here is that why it is called as the binary and why it is called as a multiple binary means two and multiple means many means those organisms who are undergoing binary fission in them the parent organism divides into two daughter individuals here the parent organism divides into two daughter individuals while here the parent organism forms many daughter individuals many means multiple two means binary is it clear now second point the binary fission always and always takes place in favorable condition now the question arises what are favorable conditions favorable condition means optimum temperature conditions okay enough quantity of food availability of the water all these are the favorable conditions so it always happens in the favorable condition while the multiple fission can occur in favorable condition also as well as it can occur in unfavorable condition also i have seen that in many books it is written that binary that multiple fission always occur in unfavorable condition it's not true i am not denying that the multiple fission never occur in unfavorable condition multiple fission can occur in unfavorable condition say for in amoeba in amoeba when the conditions are unfavorable then multiple fission occur and in amoeba when the conditions are favorable during that time binary fission occur but it's not true to say always that it always occurs in unfavorable condition only i just want to suggest here that multiple fission can also occur in favorable condition say for in plasmodium in plasmodium the multiple fission occur in favorable conditions fine now the third is nucleus of the parent body divides only once in the case of the binary fission the nucleus of the parent body divides only once means one time only while here in the multiple fission if you have seen uh, that the nucleus of the parent body divides rapidly means the nucleus of the parent body divides many times and later on after the division of the cytoplasm it forms many daughter individuals while here the nucleus of the parent body will divide once only so two nuclei will be formed and after the cytoplasm division two daughter individuals will be formed so here the nucleus divides once and here the nucleus divides repeatedly many times now the most most important point of the binary fission is that that in binary fission no residue is left behind see here what happens in the binary fission those organism who undergo binary fission in them the organism itself act as a reproductive unit the organism itself act as a complete reproductive unit and it divides into and it divides into two halves and each half start behaving as two new individuals means i want to say that no residue is left behind after binary fission means the parent organism started living as two daughter individuals means there is no residue means there is no death body available of the parent body here and hence we say that no residue is left behind but in multiple fission always a residue is left behind always a residue or the dead body is left behind of the parent body right means here the residue of what residue of the parent body is left behind here the residue of the parent body is not available now the fifth point is very important binary fission makes the organism immortal if you have heard about that many unicellular organisms just as amoeba and all right are immortal right because of the binary fission because of the binary fission the organisms are immortal immortal means their natural death will not occur their natural death will not occur accidental death may occur 
but their natural death will not occur okay and they are called as immortal but immortality is absent in multiple fission immortality is absent in multiple fission fine and one more point is that the protective covering is not formed around an organism as we know very well that binary fission occur in favorable conditions so in them those organisms who are undergoing binary fission they never form a protective covering around an organism because a protective covering is formed to resist for the unfavorable conditions but here there are no unfavorable conditions favorable conditions are there so there is no need of the protective covering and hence the organism who are undergoing binary fission will never form the protective covering around them while here as we know that multiple fission generally occurs generally occurs in unfavorable conditions okay and therefore a protective covering known as the cyst therefore a protective covering known as the cyst is formed around the organism during the multiple fission okay here the best example of the binary fission is amoeba the best examples are amoeba paramecium euglena planaria etc right amoeba paramecium euglena planaria they undergo binary fission okay and binary fission are also various types okay say for simple or irregular binary fission longitudinal binary fission and transverse binary fission the three types of the binary fission are because of the plane of division right and here in multiple fission the examples are plasmodium the examples are plasmodium but amoeba is also a good example of multiple fission but don't be confused in favorable condition in amoeba binary fission occur but when favorable conditions are not there during unfavorable conditions amoeba undergoes multiple fission okay so these were the seven important differences between the binary fission and the multiple fission so thanks a lot for watching me